go inside. That's a pretty good price. I like it. I also really, really like. Hold on. Hold on. That's over here. That's crazy. I think I need a recipe. I think I need to look up a recipe for dinner tonight. Oh, mm. crunchy nachos. Let's do it. <laughs> you got your carpet sample. What else did we get? We got that. Turn it around so I can see it. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to use to like spread the grout with. This is our grout. This is the what else? Oh, and that's what we're gonna use to wash the grout with, like sponge-wise. Do we got anything else down there? Oh wait, one more thing. Yep, a little grout brush. Looks good. It's a little grout brush for me. Mm, that's your carpet. And this is, what is this? It's a stain. That's for the tub. No. We're gonna use that for the tub, not your carpet, silly. Oh. Silly. What's in there? Is there any samples? No, no samples in here. But there's a little brochure with some information. See, mommy likes that door right there. That's the kind of door I want on my bus. That's beautiful. <clears throat> Welcome. So today I'm going to work on grouting our penny tub. I don't know how it's gonna go hoping it goes okay hoping it's not too time consuming I just wanted to show you guys some of the supplies that I got so we got black grout originally I had got a one pounder of the black grout but I realized it's not gonna be enough I'm pretty positive so I got that off Amazon originally. So I'm gonna put this in first <clears throat> and then I'll slowly mix in um, this other bigger bag that I have as I go along using a ruler <laughs> to mix it all up. So I'll put in this first. <clears throat> then I'm going to put in these which is the sparkle sparkle that goes in the grout to make it more sparkly <clears throat> and then I was really scared that the black wasn't gonna come out like black I want it black so I got this colorant to add to the grout to make sure it's like super super black so yeah we're gonna mix all this together and then I've got some other supplies to spread the grout around since we're talking about a really really tiny area I thought I needed like a tool that would be a lot smaller than your traditional grouter that you use for like a floor because we're just talking a small area here so I wanted to be able to get the grout out of and just like put it exactly where I need it you know first and then we can go over things <clears throat> and I got a giant sponge to kind of wash things I also got a spray bottle because I think I'm going to take the spray bottle and spray the sponge just a little bit because again we're working with a really small area and I don't want to get the grout like drenched in water because it's you're not supposed to do that like you're supposed to lightly go over it so with how big this is I just want a little bit of water to kind of work my way 
so and then a bucket so we'll see how this goes that this is going to be enough but we're going to try it and we're going to hope for the best we've got that three buckets for mixing After many hours and labor of love, the penny tub is officially done. Now it just needs to dry. I'm, I'm talking right now. I put the epoxy on it and it looks fabulous. That's why it's so shiny. But it's all done. The tub of our dreams, our penny copper tub. Now we just gotta cut the hole right there for the drain and we'll be good to go. This is our new shower tub, our penny copper tub. We love it. I did it all myself, all DIY. Definitely not professional, but hey, it looks pretty good. So yeah, on to the next project, which is our roof raise. Next week, woohoo! See you then, guys! <laughs>